The history of trucking in America is a story of independence. Back in 1938, my father started the Carlos Truck Rental, and at that time we hauled produce uh, from the farms to the uh, processing plants. The origins of AIM actually go back to 1906 when my grandfather borrowed $100 from his mother and bought a horse and wagon and started to haul freight. Our business uh, started back in 1918 and my grandfather started the business. During the Great Depression in America, tight financing gave rise to truck users renting their equipment rather than owning the vehicles. And equipment shortages and rationing during World War II gave momentum to the concept of truck leasing. We started in 1940 in the truck leasing business as Brown Truck Leasing Corporation. My mother's family in the truck leasing business started in 1889, as the legend goes, by my great-grandfather with a horse and buggy. These fledgling companies grew individually and independently across the country. I think he paid $400 per truck for two of the trucks, didn't have any money. My uncle financed them for uh, $50 a month until he paid them off and that's how my father got started in the uh, truck leasing business. We were one of the first truck rental companies in Southern California. And, um, you know, we started, uh, like I said, back in 1936. From that horse and buggy has transpired now about uh, six companies, all operated by direct descendants of my grandfather. In total, we operate about 10,000 vehicles and probably have about 3,500 in employees. In 1944, the heads of 17 independent leasing companies from all over the country met together in Chicago. These pioneering visionaries formed the National Truck Leasing System to combine their efforts, share ideas, and promote the entire leasing industry. Martha Dunlap was hired as the first executive secretary and headed the group for 23 years. These independent operators learned from each other and helped one another become more successful. We needed to have a, a group of people that we could turn to in, in case of help, in case of, uh, you know, uh, competitive pressure where we need to become a more national organization. Known today as National Lease, it has grown to 700 full-service locations spanning the United States and Canada. National Lease promoted leasing with national advertising and government advocacy. Weekly newsletters kept owners informed and shared valuable information for all members. In 1947, a group of National Lease affiliates formed the Car and Truck Renting and Leasing Association, whose successor, Trala, still exists today. National Lease grew quickly as more affiliates joined the ranks. Over the years, the membership numbers at National Lease have had their ups and downs. Like in 1959, when Rider Truck Leasing left the system, taking almost half the current affiliates with it. And in 1965, Canadian companies withdrew to form their own Canadian system. The Canadian companies returned in 1990, however, making National Lease a truly North American company. In 1965, National Lease Purchasing Corporation was created to serve as a separate buying corporation to negotiate competitive pricing from vendors on everything from tires and parts to trucks and fuel. Since its inception, National Lease has provided reciprocal road service among affiliates with trucks outside their geographic service area. I think the reason we got into it originally, and we've been in it since 1960, was for reciprocal service. But not just reciprocal road service. Excellent, above average, great reciprocal road service so that each individual customer that was in need of the reciprocal road service network got the service that they would receive if they were in their hometown. To me, that is, is the most important thing that National Lease, in terms of a benefit, provides. We joined National Lease out of necessity. We uh, were a small company. We needed reciprocal service throughout the country. And uh, that, uh, that group approach seemed to work well, and, and uh, it did. We, we were very happy with it. 
The deregulation of the trucking industry in 1980 produced new opportunities for full-service leasing companies. Today, the truck renting and leasing industry is booming with annual revenues of more than $25 billion and more than one million power units hauling goods and services across North America. National Lease again grew in 2006 when National Lease members merged with AmeriQuest leasing members, taking the number of locations from 500 to over 700. But I think we needed a, a different model that could provide uh, some things that, uh, that the members couldn't provide for themselves, including uh, technology, marketing, excellent people, and aggregation of volume, particularly in the area of purchasing. Uh, what probably brought it together at the end was that we were competing with the national organizations and we needed to move and quit competing for members but compete together for business. Secondly, we needed to aggregate the purchasing so it could become more uh, cost competitive with the uh, major uh, national leasing organizations in the country. We increased our volume for purchasing which would uh, uh, allow us to get uh, a lower price for the, the things that we bought to operate our companies and we could actually then go out and, and really compete against the majors on a much grander scale. National Lease Affiliates truly have a nationwide presence and the power of the organization. But perhaps the most important benefit is the camaraderie of this network of experience that individual members share. We knew practically nothing about the business. We knew about dealerships, about full service truck leasing. We had everything to learn and we'd talk to other people that had been in it. I would think the most valuable benefit is the training you get or I've received from the other members. The information, there's no one you can't call up for help and I, I think the camaraderie and the help from other members and the training of other members is by far the most valuable. National Lease from its beginnings has helped the independent operator to do what he does best, provide outstanding service to customers on a local level. With customized flexibility and leading edge technology, providing opportunities for local operators to succeed by helping American businesses do their job better. I've always had a passion that the independent truck leasing companies and independent businesses, regardless of the industry, are the fiber and backbone, backbone of America and really make it uh, operate uh, as efficiently as it does, providing the, the, that extra level of service that the big companies just can't do. The consolidation of this industry that I've seen over the last 25, 30 years has been incredible and it's coming down to a precious few players and it's strength in numbers and that's where we have to be for us to continue to be successful. The independent truck leasing company can provide the best, most flexible and customer friendly service that's out there. National Lease has grown to provide transportation management services for more than 150,000 tractors, trucks, and trailers at more than 700 service locations throughout the United States and Canada. With national connections and local ownership, National Lease is dedicated to helping its customers reduce costs and focus on their core businesses, ensuring rapid decision-making, accountability, and an entrepreneurial approach to finding solutions not found anywhere else.